How should you break your fast? That's a question that comes up all the time. And I'm a big believer that how you break your fast each day is important. You don't want to do something that's going to release a big insulin shock into your body, but loading it up with anything sugary or simple carbs could do this. So I personally recommend avoiding anything with a high glycemic index, which would include most wheat products, anything with gluten, cereal, bagels, or toast. These are not optimal choices. You do not want to spike your blood glucose. And at the same time, you do you. I promised from the very beginning that I was not going to overwhelm your brain with making too many new decisions, such as totally changing up how you eat. So if hearing those words feel stressful, just disregard them. You will intuitively get around to making better food choices in most cases. So there are two schools of thought that I hear on the best way to break a fast. And I like to say best, there is no best. I've heard to start with healthy fats, and I've also heard to start with vegetables. So you do you try different things out and see what works for you. Every body is different. And over time, you will find what fits best for you. Now, if you are going to start with toast or a bagel or something like that, I absolutely recommend getting a good source of healthy fat with it. So you might try avocado toast and then do something very different in the next day or two and have eggs and avocado to where you eliminate the toast and just begin to weigh in and see if anything feels different for you. Now, my go-tos typically are bone broth, and I like to make mine from um, pa- grass-fed, pasture-raised lamb, and I'm going to cover that in this week's recipes, bulletproof coffee, which is in last week's recipes, or my seed cycling meal, which I adapted from Cynthia Thurlow's Intermittent Fasting Transformation book. I also typically eat five Brazil nuts to add a good source of selenium and just part of my good uh, macronutrients and that and micronutrients, those good things that I want to incorporate into my body. The biggest key again, is to be aware and pay attention to the feelings and sensations that you have in your body. Once food hits your tongue receptors and as it goes through the next hour, as your body intercepts it, releases insulin and goes about burning and using it up or digesting it. Now, my body is extremely sensitive, or perhaps I just really learned to tune into it, but I can almost always feel the process of insulin release and the whole process. I feel it hit my tongue receptors. I, I feel the digestion phase. I feel a lot of that. I often feel like I could tell when my body's in autophagy too. And this only happened over time of just really being present and really being aware. 